Hey, what's going on everybody? We are here at the Heron Family Cemetery in uh, Clayton, Louisiana. It's the first time I've done a video next to a levee. Kind of cool. Check that off the list. I'm just standing out in the middle of the road because I don't think there's going to be any traffic. But uh, today we're here to see a legend, or at least in my eyes anyway, a uh, instrumental. He was instrumental in uh, like pushing rock, you know, to the masses and all that cool stuff. And we're here to see Jerry Lee Lewis. Now, let me get my ad out of the way and say if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if this isn't your first time here, hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the video as well. Very small cemetery. So when we get to the part where we talk about his life and all the stuff that he's done before we get to the death, I'll probably just use cemetery footage from Natchez. That cemetery is beautiful and uh, why not, right? And then, you know, we'll, we'll look at some of these headstones here right before we get up to the death and all that. And then we'll see the grave at the end and pay our respects and do all the things that we normally do. So, oh, shout out to the members. Can't forget you guys. I appreciate y'all very much. So what I always forget to say is in the comments, put your favorite Jerry Lee Lewis song. Um, you know, whether it's, I mean, Great Balls of Fire or... Mine is holding on to 39. I think that's the name of the song because uh, this year I'm turning 39. So uh, I understand that. I, oh boy, I don't want to let the 30s go, but I don't think I got a choice, but I'm gonna hold on as long as I can. So Jerry Lee Lewis was born September 9th, September 29th, 1935 in Faraday, Louisiana. In his youth, he began playing piano trying to find us a good spot to start. So in his youth, he began playing piano with two of his cousins, uh, Mickey Gilly and uh, Jimmy Swaggart. His parents mortgaged their farm to buy that piano. So, I mean, you know, do what you gotta do, right? His mother enrolled him at the Southwest Bible Institute in Texas so that he could sing evangelical songs exclusively when Lewis daringly played a uh, boogie woogie rendition of My God is Real at a church assembly. It ended his association with the school the same night. After, after the incident, he went home and started playing at clubs in and around Faraday and Natchez, which is where we're at, becoming part of the uh, new rock and roll sound and uh, cutting his first demo recording in 52. So around 55, he traveled to Nashville where he started playing in clubs and attempted to build interest, but was turned down by the Grand Ole Opry as he was already at the Louisiana Hayride country stage and radio show in Shreveport. He made his first recordings in 52, like we said earlier, at j &M Studio in New Orleans. He covered Lefty Frizzle's Don't Stay Away and his own instrumental composition, a composition called Jerry's Boogie. In December of 56, Lewis began recording publicly as a solo artist and as a session musician for Sun artists, including Carl Perkins and Johnny Cash, both of which we've been to. His distinctive piano playing can be heard on many tracks recorded at Sun in late 56 and 57, including Carl Perkins' songs, Matchbox, Your True Love, and Put Your Cat Clothes On. So on December 4th, of 56, Elvis Presley dropped in on Phillips to pay a, pay a little visit while Perkins was in the studio cutting new tracks with Lewis backing on piano. And Johnny Cash was also there watching and the four of them started an impromptu jam session and Phillips left the tape recorder going. These recordings, almost half of which were gospel songs were released on a CD as the Million Dollar Quartet tracks also include Elvis's Don't Be Cruel and Paralyzed and Chuck Berry's Brown Eyed Handsome Man. So Lewis's own singles, on which at the time he was billed as Jerry Lee Lewis and his pump and piano, advanced his career as a soloist during 57 with hits such as Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, Big Maybelle, which was a cover, and Great Balls of Fire, his biggest hit bringing him international fame and criticism of songs, which prompted some radio stations to boycott them. As part of his stage act, Lewis pounded the keys with his heel, 
kicked the piano bench aside and played standing, raking his hands up and down the keys, sat on the keyboard, and stood on the piano. He told the Pop Chronicles that kicking over the bench originally happened by accident, but when it got a favorable response, he kept it in the act. His inaugural television appearance, in which he demonstrated some of these moves, was on the Steve Allen Show on July 28, 1957, where he played a whole lot of shaking going on. Lewis's son recordings contract ended in 63, and he joined Smash Records, where he made several rock recordings that did not further his career. Frustrated by Smash's inability to score a hit, Lewis was planning on leaving the label when promoter manager Eddie Kilroy called him and pitched the idea of cutting a pure country record in Nashville. With nothing to lose, Lewis agreed to the record with Jerry Chestnut's song, Another Place, Another Time, which was released as a single in March of 68, and to everyone's amazement, shot up the country charts. Between 68 and 77, Lewis had 17 top 10 hits on the Billboard country chart, including four chart toppers. Lewis played the Grand Ole Opry for the first time and only time on January 20th of 73. And in 1979, Lewis switched record labels to Elektra and produced the critically acclaimed Jerry Lee Lewis. Although sales were disappointing, in 86, Lewis was one of the inaugural inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Although looking frail after several hospitalizations due to stomach problems, Lewis was responsible for getting an unplanned jam at the end of the evening, which was eventually incorporated into all future events. That year, he returned to Sun Studio in Memphis to team up with Orbison, Cash, and Perkins, along with longtime admirers like John Fogarty to create the album Class of 55. So, Lewis had a, a minor stroke in Memphis on February 28th of 2019. Then he had to cancel several appearances. And sadly, he passed away at his home on October 28th of 2022 in Nesbitt, Mississippi, at the age of 87. His death was mistakenly reported by TMZ two days before he died with a representative uh, stating that TMZ had reported er erroneously off of a tip, even though uh, they normally do TMZ's pretty good with the uh, deaths. I don't know, they got a good thing about that. Lewis's funeral was held on November 5th at his hometown of Faraday, Louisiana. And his, uh, it was officiated by his cousin, Jimmy Swaggart and Swaggart's son. So one of the few things I noticed as I was walking around the cemetery before we get to the grave real quick, is this guy, he's from World War I, Robert Aubrey, and he's from Oregon, which I thought was, you know, just something different. 1955. So he survived the, the war to end all wars and then passed away in 55. All right, so here, here we go. The grave of Jerry Lee Lewis, right here. Okay, so we'll start. There's a lot going on here. And so I think we're gonna start with this, which is the fire. That's a cool emblem, right? I can dig that, all right. Somebody, and the good thing is we can walk right here because Judith is, Judith ain't here yet. So, here's, uh, we'll look at this. That would have been his memorial thing before this put in. Somebody's left some records. And we've got him playing piano. That's him with Judith. And we've got the large monument. Right here, I'll back up so you guys can see it. And then we'll close in on the dates again. And on the other side, I thought they may have put something, but no, it's just a blank, blank canvas, pretty much. And it says, there's a little thing right here that says the Natchez Monument Company out of Natchez, Mississippi, which is where the, the cemetery footage was from. Because you see, like, there's the start and there's the end over there by the car. So that's, this is the Heron Cemetery and there's some, there's some Herons right here. I guess that's where all that comes from. But yeah, how cool, man. I don't wanna to get too distracted from what we're here about. How cool, Jerry Lee Lewis, which 
from what I like, could tell, I think they just put this in not too long ago. I had been wanting to come here for quite some time and I'm glad I waited because it would have totally, it's, uh, it's worth the wait. One more time. It's a good picture too. I like that picture. So yeah, if y'all um, need some wind and rain, let me know, because it seems like everywhere I go, I just bring that with me. Yeah, Jerry Lee Lewis, man, how cool. So I struggle with how soon, like now that we're through and we, we did the grave and all that, this is, this is kind of like my little bit of spiel before we get to the end. Like I struggle with how soon I should come do these videos. Like when he passed away in October of 2022, like I could have probably been here for the funeral, right? But it's like, I don't really get down like that. And I did see somebody do that, which is cool. But it's like, I really struggle with that part. And I don't know how y'all feel about that. I would like to know in the comments, but I feel like I should wait and let the dead rest a minute before I show up with my little circus show that I do, you know, and do what I do. It's just, uh, and if somebody beats me to the punch, then so be it. I'll be here, uh, you know, before you know it. But I always struggle with it. So let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, I think the storm's starting to blow in. I don't know how well that translates on, uh, on the mic, but I think we're gonna end up, I think I'm gonna cut it and, uh, and you know what? Let's do our thing before we get blown away. You never know what you'll find on the back roads. Jerry Lee Lewis, man. Thank you guys so much. I say that in every video, but it, you and I get to do this because of you, and I appreciate that. I'll see you guys on the next one.